Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today we've come to Milton Keynes, what a surprise. You can see Escape over there. And today, I know my last video was like a cum shot with me around Primark, but we went to Hemel Hempstead and Primark in Hemel Hempstead is not it. So today we went, we're going, I'm actually filming this after the fact, but we're going to go into Primark today in the big one in central Milton Keynes because the selection in Hemel Hempstead was rubbish. So yeah, that's why we're going into this one. Um and I've, I don't when was the last time I went into a proper Primark? Like July I think. So seems to be a monthly basis i don't want to buy anything really but you'll see in the next video whether i buy anything or not because i'm going to do a haul next um for you to watch a primark haul if i buy anything obviously which spoiler i do so buckle up i'm going to show you around what is in primark it's kind of a weird time at the moment because it's like august like autumn stuff is not in the shops um and they've still got summer stuff but we're kind of like although it is kind of, it is still summer but we're riding the wave into autumn now especially with the rubbish weather it's been mild but like rain 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 all the time but yeah so let's go without any more further ado shopping around primark here we go into primark the um mothership um coming up the escalators and this is what is trending apparently yeah but anyway main reason i wanted to come was to view the pen x primark collection which they had last year but they bought it back again they haven't got the same pieces i don't think um i can't remember much from last year um but they had that t-shirt for 10 pounds and then this um like windbreaker half zip jacket for 25 pound or quarter zip jacket for £25. They had this polo shirt for £10 as well. And then also this um, t-shirt for £10 as well. £10 seems to be the price for the t-shirts. But that's just a quick overview of the whole collection. I didn't show you the bucket hat, but I showed you that in my previous vlog, um, the shopping vlog. So I'll link that up above and the socks as well I showed you in that they did have um, some sweatpants shorts in both white and grey and they were £10 and these are like swimming shorts ish for £9 as well so that's the whole Penex collection of oh, this white hoodie for 18 forgot to mention that moving on to non pen stuff pen sport stuff so this um, I thought was quite a nice windbreaker it was more tealy than it showing up there and that was showing up quite blue for £12. And then a whole wall of t-shirts. A lot of those t-shirts on the wall are £10, which seems to be a bit pricier than they used to be in Primark. There's Space Jam, which we also saw in the Hemel Hempstead Primark. And then lots of these ones that I'm not particularly fussed about with the Endless written on in the Boohoo style. Um, but at the end, we've got some more polo shirts, um, which are quite of a smarter style work out where now over here they've got a whole new kind of workout accessories section if you want to call that this bit here where you can get like a bum bag and i think there's weights and different stuff like that which is fairly new i've not seen that kind of stuff before like a yoga mat moving on to these t-shirts these are the two pound fifty t-shirts which i do love some of the designs not all of them miami one the palm springs one i liked as well i do like those and i really like um that los angeles one i think got that for my dad um in previous visits and then more over here these ones i'm not too fussed on the designs like i don't really like the fearless and the fresh one not particularly my vibe but there's one up here which i haven't seen before the new york one quite like that for two pound fifty as well um some sales stuff if you like stranger things hoodie for six pounds and um, moving on to more jackets these are more like waterproof rain jackets summer appropriate ish jackets haven't got onto the full on autumn wear um proper coats yet in primark um when i did really like the gilet 
um, a bit Barber vibes and a bit of brand. I can't remember what it is. If you know what it is down below, I've seen it. It's quite an expensive brand, but that's £15. Um, and then I saw this on the wall and beeline for it. I love a quarter zip. And this is like a grey, greeny, tealy colour, which I love. And it was £18. Um, you have to watch the next video to see if I did buy it or not. Some more sale stuff here. We've got a nice... I think that's quite a nice denim shirt there in the sale. Um, and then we've got some more bits. There's some hoodies, like PlayStation logo hoodies, if that is your vibe. This hoodie I thought was really nice, actually. And it was um, £4. And it's like rust colour. Um, rust burnt orange colour. But not in my size. And then I thought that Marvel t-shirt was quite interesting. Because we saw that in the Hemel vlog. Um, and then this was Street Fighter. Did anyone used to play that when they were little? I used to have it on an Amiga. And they still got the Chem X Primark collection. If that is something that interests you. All of the same bits and bobs really from that collection. Um, so yes. Uh, all the same kind of things we've seen before. I do still like that blue half zip quarter zip polo shirt for £10 that is quite nice actually having a look at it and they've still got lots of short stuff uh, shorts available I mean um, and a lot of them are discounted now so these ones aren't but the ones at the front they've got like a new price and the new price is £5 um, I'm not sure what the price before that was but that's quite nice just a plain denim short um, some more reduced prices over there. I wasn't really in the market for some shorts. I did really like these ones. These are quite like a smarter short, but they've got an elasticated waist and they're down seven pounds, which I think is quite good. And uh, yeah, so shoes. I did really used to like Primark trainers, but I have a pair that I really do not like and I'm going to donate to charity because I got them for a really good price, like Fiverr or something. But like the, I thought these were quite nice, but there was £16, which is a bit more than I would pay for a Primark one. But the ones I've got in the past have been nice, apart from my most recent purchase, which I got in the sound, they feel a bit plasticky. I did think these were a really good bargain if you do need some trainers. £2, they look quite nice, but I'm not sure how they'd wear. Moving on to the more premium edit in Primark, if you will. And I thought that was quite funny how they've displayed that and those shoes in like a glass slash plastic case um really liked this polo shirt 14 pounds and this like zip jacket for 30 so a bit more premium premium prices we've seen this before um thought this bag was quite interesting i'm not sure how like the handle is or anything i think it might have something inside i didn't open it up to see but i thought that was quite nice and then i also like this navy zipped polo as well also in a lot um i don't know why i said it's in large you can get it in any size you want. But also have the zip and also £14 is what I meant. Whole wall of shirts, nothing we haven't seen before, to be honest. Um, or just play, there's quite a lot of plain coloured shirts really at the moment. And then moving on to like the khaki um, kind of style stuff, which is normally over in that corner anyway. Um, and now moving on to the more denim and trouser section. Nothing I really needed in that section anyway. Um, and then... This is kind of how they styled that over here. But I did like this denim jacket. I believe it is in the sale for £10 possibly. But yeah, I really like that. And it's got pockets as well. So exactly the same position. But back in the car from a successful shop around Primark. Um, around the men's section, I did pop downstairs to the uh, middle floor and go in the children's section. And I did pick up a few things in there for my nieces um do you remember when um the men's section had like chicago ball stuff and lakers stuff for a while but then it just stopped um but the kids section had that so i was looking like could i fit into like a 15 year old t-shirt and deciding factor was not um that i could not um i didn't try anything on obviously but it still looked quite short it was like a crop top basically it looked like but i didn't pick anything up in that but i just picked up stuff for my nieces um yeah but i did pick a few bits did i what did i buy for me yeah i bought like two things two or three things i well you'll see in the hall i've completely forgotten i have walked around milton Keynes a few times now so that's why i've forgotten but um yeah 
that was quite successful, a lot more successful than the Hemel Hempstead one because it's rubbish and very small. Um, whereas this is nice and big and spacious and hardly any one was there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like Come Shop With Me's, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe because we do Come Shop With Me's a lot of the time. Because um, I find them enjoyable to watch and to film. Like I like watching other people's, like I like Hannah. I can't remember, she doesn't do videos that often because I think her job is quite late and labour intensive but I like hers and also the f artist formerly known as Miss Budget Beauty. I do like her, she used to do shopping Sundays. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Follow my Instagrams as well for like outfit pictures and stuff like that there and a few reels. Um, but yeah, thank you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.